Welcome to part 20 of our Avengers Campus construction videos. Today is July 9th, 2020. Unfortunately, both Disneyland and Disney California Adventure are still closed due to COVID-19. However, from downtown Disney, we can see a glimpse of progress over at the Avengers Campus site. In the distance, a crane can be spotted. This crane is lifting trees into place. And these trees are being placed at the border of Avengers Campus, next to Mater's Junkyard Jamboree in Carsland. And these trees will help hide the view from land to land, basically keeping the theming from land to land isolated. Today is July 10th, 2020. New aerial photos have been taken by Buy Reconstruct and they are fantastic. First of all, if we look over in this location, we have a great view of the trees that were put in place yesterday between Carsland and Avengers Campus. Now if we look at the bottom of the picture, we can see the Quinjet that has been brought in. It's being stored here until they're ready to put it in position. This jet will eventually be put on top of the Avengers Headquarters building, right here. And here's a picture of the jet on the concept art. A couple weeks ago, Mice Chat posted some really cool photos as well. Near the center of the picture, we can see the Quinjet in storage. Another picture that Mice Chat posted shows a great view of the Spider Man show building. Notice that all of the red panels have been put back on. Looking at a flashback, we can see the red cladding panels being attached to the building. Once the panels were installed, they were surprisingly removed. A white Tyvek weather resistant barrier was put into place until the panels were ready to be reinstalled. This picture was taken on March 13th, the day before the closure of Disney California Adventure. And on this picture, notice that the Tyvek barrier was removed as the panels were being put into place. If we go back to the Mice Chat photo that was taken a couple weeks ago, notice that the web logo still isn't added yet. However, if we go to the Bio Reconstruct photo, we can see that the logo has been added. Here's a side by side comparison of the two photos before and after the web logo has been installed. And this is what the web logo looks like on the concept art. Also notice that the building has been painted since we saw it last. This is what it looked like two weeks ago. It still had the original paint from when the building was in a bug's land before the Avengers Campus construction began. Now let's focus our attention to this still framing. Actually, we'll switch to a different view. This framework will be more than likely used for an external queue overhang. The entrance to the queue will be here. The external queue, before you enter the show building, will be below the overhang. Back in January, the framework for this overhang was brought in. Here we can see some beams being lifted into position. And here's what this area looks like on the concept art. Now if we focus our attention to where the Mystic Arts Plaza will be located, we can actually start seeing definition in the layout. If we compare this area to the model that was presented at the D23 Expo, we can recognize some components. Such as this area is located here on the model. And the side building is located here. 
Looking back to December 2019, we saw this side building being constructed. This is before the work of the side building. Now it is all the picture back to December 2019. And then back to July 10th, 2020. As you can see, this area is going to have a circular pattern to it. A lot of concrete forms are in place. And it's located here on the model. And concept art was released by Disney showing what this circular area will eventually look like. Also, other components can be recognized on the model, such as these walls located here. Now we're looking at an aerial shot of the Pimtest Kitchen building. The scaffolding that was in front of the entrance of the building has been taken down since we saw it last. And this is where the main entrance of the building will be. Here's concept art of the final look. And this is what the inside will look like. And it's really cool, the Pim Test Kitchen theming will mimic a food innovation science lab. Pim particles will be used to grow and shrink food. Here's some of the items that they'll serve. The chicken breast has grown with the help of pim particles, while the bun has shrunk. Also, the pim testing lab will have snacks such as these shrunken pretzels and popcorn. Back at the D23 Expo, Disney had on display some of the items promoting Pim Test Kitchen, which was fun to see. At this time, we'll step back and look at how this building has gotten to this point. This is before the building started going vertical, and notice that the concrete is being added to make wall footings. And wall footings are a continuous strip of concrete that serves to spread the weight of a load-bearing wall across an area of soil. Next columns were added to the footings. After that, horizontal beams were added to the top of the columns. And cellular beams were added over the patio areas. These have a higher load bearing capacity and they're lighter and they give a longer spans with fewer columns. And what's cool, these cellular beams will be visible when eating outside on the patio area. So it will be part of the final look. Next, steel decking was brought in on top of the building. As you can see here, support framing was installed. And workers also welded the beams. The steel decking was now laid out in position. Scaffolding was put up so work on the front of the entrance of the building could be done. Wall studs were installed which make up the vertical framing of the building's walls. They hold windows, doors, sheathing, insulation, and utilities in place and help give shape to a building. Next, insulated roof panels were installed. Here's a worker cutting one in half to allow it to fit where it needs to go. These are uplast exhaust fans, which are common for restaurants. 
The purpose of this type of fan is to remove smoke, steam, heat, grease, or other food related vapors that could otherwise flood the kitchen and eventually leach into the rest of the building. Next, air handlers have been brought in as well. Ducts for the HVAC system were installed. Workers added a concrete layer to the walls. Comparing this area to the concept arch, the workers that we see are located approximately here. Concrete forms were put in place to create a border around the patio area. Here's what the area looks like on the D23 model. The Pimses Kitchen building is definitely coming together nicely, along with the rest of Avengers Campus. Well, that's a taste of things to come. We can't wait to see what they build next.